later, guys. See ya, take care. What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. My name's Damon Fryer. Hey, listen, if you're a regular viewer, you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing right now? Back already on a plane traveling again. I can explain. So you see, where I live on Vancouver Island, there's basically almost no supercars to film, hang out with, and go on adventures with. All my friends are down here in the United States. So even though two videos ago I just said, I have to leave the United States, that wasn't like a clickbaity title. I really did have to leave the United States to go home and be with my family and do that kind of stuff. But now I'm back. And speaking of friends, well, a couple of good friends of mine picked me up from the airport in this beautiful S550. And this thing is luxury. So we have the most epic week planned I think I've ever had on Daily Driven Exotics. Most of the time, I'm just winging it and we obviously have a ton of fun. I don't wanna give it away in this video, but just trust me, you're gonna to wanna to watch all the videos back to back because it's gonna be off the charts. Starting with today, we're going to Protective Film Solutions and we're picking up my friend Ryan's personal car. Now, I wanna call it a supercar, but the manufacturer actually calls it a sports car. It is hands down the craziest sports car on the planet, I guarantee you. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. You can comment below. And let me quickly introduce my homies, who you already know. Awesome. They may know me, the I'm car not biz. sure. You guys do. have been helping them out. Thank you, uh, thank you. just you. hit how many subscribers? 8,000. 8,000. Yeah. Thank you, DDE fam, thank for you. helping I out my boy. every single one of you guys. And we I got really plenty do. of good stuff coming. Montage, Let's while we're it. stuck in traffic. a warm welcoming to protective film solutions now just imagine if these are the cars up front <laughs> what do they have in the back <laughs> we're gonna show you guys in just a second all right you guys this is where the action is gonna get started we are at my boy shop protective film solutions hands down the number one wrap shop in North America now they have a whole bunch of cars out front They've got a 675 LT, a couple of Porsches. By the way, this is the brand new Porsche Turbo S Hybrid. Uh, look at this thing with the new headlight design. This thing is sick, a real big fan. Very unique blue GT3. We got a 488 and this is Ryan's car. Now, this is the McLaren 570S with the Vorsteiner kit. So it's called the 570 VX. Very special car, tons of aero, tons of carbon fiber. It has been tuned by VF Engineering. So it's got a ton of horsepower and it sounds insane. We'll be taking this car out shortly. But I wanna take you guys inside the shop because inside the shop was where all the magic happens with Ryan's team. And they got some very special cars in there right now. And I can't wait to show them to you. So why don't we go inside? Welcome, welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. So, they are full house. Tons of supercars, right off the bat. We got the Porsche, we got a Ferrari, McLarens, more Porsches, but they have a few special cars in here. Now, the last time we were in here, this special car was in the process of being wrapped, but hadn't really had a whole lot done. There's been a little bit of progress. Looking at this. I am bringing everyone back to the Veyron. So now it's got this satin black down the sides and all the red spots are gonna get done in like a highlighter yellow chrome, if you can even imagine that. Now I don't know if there's an example of that here, but um, it's kind of cool to see Veyron parts, rear bumper, so you can get a really good look at how this beast is, uh, is built. Look at that, wing is off. You can see everything in here. Now one of the unique things about this car was I remember Houston saying that you had to remove all of this just to get at the coolant because the coolant was somewhere back here. Now, I don't even know what I'm looking for, but anyhow, this is pretty wild. Now, a good friend of mine, Gordon, and he's got his 488 Spider here, and it, I think it has every piece of carbon fiber that he could tick off on the option list on this car. So this is it here in its pure state, yellow. It's got some beautiful Vorsteiner wheels. Everything though is carbon on this car, carbon lip, it's got the carbon uh, 
little vent intakes here. There's everything's carbon on the inside. I love this car. Well, I wanted to show the audience this crazy car that's in here. If you wanted proof that protective film solutions is one of the top notch wrap protective film companies in all of North America, it's just look at their clientele list. Yeah. Look at the cars that come here. Okay. They have run of the mill uh, cars, but they have like these unicorn cars that come in. And so when clients trust them with like one of one or one of threes, this is one of those situations. This is a unicorn car. This is a one of three and it's very, very rare. Mercedes Benz, CLK, GTR, Super Sport. <laughs> Only one of three. Check this thing out, you guys. What a unique car. These are arguably the smallest doors that also go up. Now, look how compact this cockpit is. I can't get over it. I don't even know if the camera does it justice, how tight it is. But you can see right here, limited edition. So definitely a unicorn, very special car. Um, only 26 were made in the world. There were 25 coupes and one roadster. That's what I just read on Wikipedia. So guys, don't kill me in the comments if I'm wrong. Google lied to us. Just when you thought they didn't have enough cars in here, let's just add one more to the mix. <laughs> Literally taking the very last spot right there. Because after that, they're done. Look at this. I was hyping this car up and here's why. McLaren considers the 570 model as a sport series car, not the super series car. The super series doesn't start until you get into like a 650S, a 675 LT, or the new current 720S. So technically, they're saying that this car is a sports car. I don't know about you, but I consider this a super car. It's a twin turbo V8. It produced 570 horsepower uh, in its stock format. This car has been tuned by VF Engineering, so it produces way more than that, I believe, uh, up to over 100 more horsepower. Um, it's got a downpipe, it's got exhaust, um, it sounds amazing. It's got this insanely aggressive carbon fiber aero kit from uh, Vorsteiner. It's called the 570VX, but why don't we just jump in it? This has got an old traditional McLaren livery from their old racing series. That's why it's got the Marlboro. Now listen, Ryan doesn't support smoking, but they went with uh, a livery that they wanted to support. And look, to just prove their point, they put no smoking on the sides of the wing, which I think is pretty awesome. So this is a whole weathered wrap. And uh, yeah, it's to go back to the livery of uh, racing heritage. Right off the bat, one of my favorite things about McLaren is of course, even on their sports series, they put the doors that go up. Oh yeah, I'm having door envy already. So we got billionaire doors, my friend. I know. Doesn't that make you jelly? It does. Because our cars don't have that. It doesn't. Damn, all right. Slide into the cockpit. McLaren makes a very nice cockpit. So we need to do a cold start. Hit it. pretty loud. I've heard this thing under load and it sounds crazy. We'll put a few uh, a few minutes worth of temp into the engine, then we're gonna hit the road. We have some temp in the engine. I've got a mirror my navigator of uh, the McLaren 570 interface. He almost bought one of these cars so he knows where everything is. Look at that dash. Now, dude, one of the best things about McLaren is you can shift up and down with one lever. So forward to go up 
and pull back to go down a gear. You ready for this? I'm, 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 they're waiting. <laughs> Listen to this, you guys. about actually getting rid of the R8 and getting a 570. What do you think of this one? I don't know. I was actually going to buy a 570 before I bought the R8. And then we were talking though this last week about now going yeah, R8 yeah, back to this. Yeah, I just, I just, I'm confused guys. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Here, let me help you make a decision. to hear a real quick. Yeah, that was real quick, but... It's not even letting me talk. Well, come on, if it's easy to talk, give her. Okay, what are you okay, thinking? Okay, so the only... The only thing you gotta give it to the R8 is the comfort. The comfort in the R8 is a lot more than this. This is not comfortable at all. Especially the way he's driving. <laughs> Yo. What a beauty. Oh man, I like this car. Holy. What were we saying, David? Super loud. Bro. Super loud. I mean, this car has such a presence. It's got the full front bumper um, replacement from Vorsteiner, all this crazy carbon, the wheels. I think the most impressive part is hands down, this car's and. Um, the more aggressive diffuser, and of course, this massive wing. Look at this, look at this kit. I mean, come on, man. It's basically uh, like a, a 570 GTR, because this whole wing design is like from the P1 GTR. How do they call this the Sport Series? Dude, this I, thing is insane. I think what McLaren's point to, to this is that you could literally pick a brand new up for like 175, 180, brand new. Sub 200 grand. Yeah, I think that's why they say it's not a, I don't know. That's weird, though. I don't know, bro. My R8 was like I mean, grand, and that's considered it, a supercar. Does this get any more supercar? Twin turbo V8. I mean, granted, this is an aftermarket body kit, but I mean, these the, the way that the arrow is designed in this, just like, a, you know, a P1 or something, that's all stock. And then it's got the supercar doors. It's got the supercar look overall. It's low and sleek. We're gonna take this thing for a little cruise down the coast, show you guys a bit of the coast, and we'll take the long route around back to Ryan's shop, give you guys a little insight to what it's like to be behind the wheel of this amazing machine that is the Sport Series. Get that start up again. I told you this car's not messing around. So a cool feature about McLaren is, is down here you can hit this active button right here. I'll zoom in a little bit, turn that on, and look at how it changes the dash into this more F1 style race mode. Also, I've got everything set in the track settings instead of sport or normal, and that's gonna stiffen up the suspension and basically make the car as efficient as possible with shifting and all of those features. So here we go. We're gonna enjoy some of the Newport coast. To this thing. Yes.
<laughs> I love the sound of this car. Now, this is one of those like, go up. There we go. We're going up, lifting the front end. There we go. Lifted. Dude, this thing is a beast. I told you, dude, it's nasty now. Holy, they <laughs> changed it big time. Oh, that's what they had it for a whole week. It's, it's just angry is what it is. It's angry. Don't Don't see no damn donuts. Listen, listen, <laughs> there were no donuts, I promise. None that'll make it into the video. Oh. How I am going to miss a vehicle with these doors. So do we have any McLaren lovers on the channel that are just like trying to scream through the screen at me so I get a McLaren for a DD car? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, by the way, you know, if you want to know where I am more real time, by the, I've never really done a shout out for this. Go and follow me on Instagram. It's just Daily Driven Exotics. If you follow my stories in real time, a lot of the time, like today, when I land at the airport or wherever I'm at, I put where I'm going, if I'm available, if I can meet someone. And we already had a couple of fans come and track us down here at Protective Film Solutions earlier. So, hey, it was good to meet you, Tristan. That's the fastest, quickest way to follow me real time, you guys, at Daily Driven Exotics. Thanks again. By the way, he even wrapped the key to match his car. I want that next time, okay? It's awesome. It is awesome. Hey, I really appreciate it, brother. See you later, brother. I'll see you, you next time. See you later. We're off to pick up the tire slayer. Check this out, guys. The parts for uh, Amir's build for his RH just showed up. What's up, man? Dude, I love the new seats you're putting in the R8. That is sick. What yep. made you think of those? Um, lightweight, bro. <laughs> we gotta add the horsepower. <laughs> so what, what? What all do we got here? We got some more. We got extra storage. Yeah. yeah. But says you're gonna make, you're gonna make. That's a supercharger right here. No, no, I'm, I'm upgrading turbo. That's my turbo. Oh wow! And look at this. This is the new rad. Yep. I like the new rad. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to VF Engineering. I am super excited because look what's right here. Look, look, look. I've missed her. Don't forget. The tire slayer. Don't forget. Right? Look at that's how close I got when we took the wing off in the uh, Jake Paul video. Now they got a lot going on here at VF Engineering. They've been tuning M4 GTSs. They are doing a little bit of work on Sam Hubinet's uh, Huracan. They've got the R8s as usual, but the big one that I'm really excited about is right here behind me. Now, funny enough, this is my boys. Both, both of these cars are from Garage Goals, but his 720S is being tuned by the guys here. Tell us, what kind of numbers are we gonna put down? No, like seriously, like going into it, thinking about how much you want to achieve is kind of the wrong way to approach it. Yeah. You want to be able to kind of find an equilibrium and see where things balance out at. Um, if we can get 80 plus horsepower out of the car, that'd be nice. Okay. But, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I with, get it. With due time. Were you ever like an attorney before you <laughs> did this? Or? <laughs> you guys, let's fire this thing up. Hold on. Cold start. Cold start of this thing is always fun. Let's see, right about, yeah, right there. Can I stand right here? Yeah, that'll work, right? <laughs> Guys, we have to say goodbye to my boy Amir. Go check out his channel if you're new and you haven't already. And David, hey, thanks homie for coming to get me at the airport. Your beautiful ride, super comfortable. Almost fell asleep a few times. But tonight I am staying with my friend Gordon in Newport Beach, a uh, long-term friend of mine. He has some sick cars. He's the guy who owned the 488 Spider back at Protective Film Solutions. We'll be unveiling his wrap because it's bonkers. And we'll be catching up with you guys in the next day. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Safe drive back to LA. Thank you. Peace. We messed that up. Okay, let's get the tire slayer ready for departure. That's better. What we like to call a Ventador mode. No longer in need of those. Look at this weather. 
clouded over. We're at Billy's at the beach. My buddy Gordon's here. I'm gonna catch up with him. I'm gonna park the tire slayer right here in the parking lot. She looks like she's in good hands considering there's a speed yellow Porsche right here. And uh, I will catch up with you guys right after dinner because you got to see the rest of Gordon's garage. He's got some sick rides. Be right back. Okay, we just finished dinner. I mean, obviously a lot later than we thought. It's dark out. This is my boy, Gordon. Gordon, say hi to all my boys on the vlog. Hey, boys on the vlog. <laughs> Actually, there's some girls too. Right, right. And girls on the vlog. I wanna show you one of Gordon's cars and then we're gonna end the vlog, but very special car. Stay with us. He has a 488 Pista on the way. It's sick. We'll definitely be showcasing that. Then he's got the 488 Spider at Ryan's shop, but it doesn't end there, folks. He's got the most highly specced out GTC4 Lusso on the planet, and we're about to show it to you. Uh, Casa de Gordon. He's like, I got to uh, label maker my keys because I get so confused. I got so many Ferraris. I, <laughs> he's got the Lusso. Does it? Hold on. Lusso. Oliver's going <laughs> to like that. Oh, that's Oliver would do. Label maker his keys. Okay, let's go see this All thing. Right, the four, GTC4 Lusso. Pow. How sexy is this thing? I mean, Gordon, you nailed it on the spec. A little dirty sitting here, it hasn't been washed. No, but that's there. good, I mean, it's used. It's got the new tail lights. And you know. The massive no, no, uh, trunk, a real trunk. No uh, Newport Beach grocery getter would be complete without your uh, Trader Joe's bags <laughs> in the back. <laughs> that's so legit, man. So Gordon specced it out black on yellow, so he's got the yellow sport stitching everywhere. I mean, look at this. Dude, this interior is so sick. So this actually, on the car is a readout for the yeah. passenger. Yeah. So this is gonna have R RPMs, gear, and right, speed. Right, right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This is a V12, La Ferrari motor. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. There it is, booting up. Oh, look at the size of that screen. Is that what all the ladies say? That's right. Oh my God, I gotta get in here. So it gives you the gear, the RPMs, the G-force, and both the acceleration and the turns. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm not even joking. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. I didn't realize it did all this. No. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. Hold on. Hit that again. It sounds like an F1 car. I haven't even heard an FF sound this good. Stock, didn't do anything to it. Yeah, it's completely stock. It's just the way it's like yeah, they the built it. it. Is. And the steering wheel. Okay, this now takes the cake for the best steering wheel over, um, ironically, my friend's S63, the 2018, has got a really nice steering wheel, but this oh, one's this, better than that. You can even go down to snowboat here. Got the snow patrol. <laughs> yeah. Wanna, wanna, I'm going to go, go skiing. I'm good. Canadian I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Beaver the maple Can syrup, eh? The Canadian car. All, if we were out driving, all these things would be lighting up depending on what we were doing. Kids can control the uh, the music from uh, sitting in the passenger seat. But most importantly, they can see how, how fast we're going. Yeah, that's perfect. So when they get home, they can tell mom. Exactly. Mom that, can that, tear we, your ear yeah, off. That. You guys, smash that subscribe button. Throw me a thumbs up. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Daily Driven Exotics. And yeah, that's where you can find me on uh, Insta Stories. That's like kind of like the, the quickest, most up to date live way to follow where I'm at if you I want to. Where I'm at, it's the most handsome man in the world. That's on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a, bl a, a blast. I, I miss this guy. Listen, you got to be careful because there's, there's a blind corner. Proceed with caution. Be careful, be careful you, peace.